Today we're talking about the Vespa ACMA 150GL. Mine arrived uh, from Germany in a crate and uh, I don't re recommend shipping a scooter overseas uh, for any reason. It is really difficult. But it arrived and it was beautiful. I wasn't too happy with the paint or the seat. But these are things we can change, and the details on the bike, as you can see from the script badge, uh, were amazing. Um, really lovely stuff. It's got a one-of-a-kind speedometer, but this one was poached. And you can see here it's completely roached. Very hard to find a new one, but eventually I did. And it's hard because it goes to 110 kilometers, and all the other ones just go to 90. I noticed the paint was a little flaky, so I started stripping it away, and, well... They're like, uh, once you start, <laughs> and it's really, really hard to, uh, to scrape paint off with a razor. It's hours and hours and hours and hours of work, but I really like this green. Uh, so I decided just to go ahead with it and I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. You don't see a Vespa this color very often, especially an older one. This is my Acma 150 GL which I just imported from uh, Germany last year. Probably the, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the nicest Vespa ever produced. It's a lot like a GS150 VS1, but it has nine inch wheels and it's made in Paris, France. This is the fork that, this is the fork that came with the bike and it's actually the wrong fork. It's off an older ACMA model. So it's, uh, it's too long and the headset doesn't sit right. So we're going to have to swap it out. Here you can see the original fork hits the leg shield uh, on both sides. And it also does not sit on the fork stem correctly. So I knew it was the wrong one. We're going to have to swap it out with this fork, which is the proper fork, which a nice person in France uh, uh, sold to me. Extremely hard to find, and uh, we're going to have to take it all apart, clean it up, and then put it back in the frame. Notice the, uh, the interesting olive green paint, uh, not original. These bikes only came in the GS Silver, or maybe it was their own silver, I'm not sure, but they, they only came silver. Somebody eventually, somebody stripped this down painted it this green color, and then somebody else painted it this horrible periwinkle blue color. And I'm in the process of scraping all that off of the razor blade, and it's not much fun. So hopefully in the next coming months, we'll get all this paint scraped off. We'll get these two forks swapped out, and uh, we'll get the motor rebuilt. The leftover fork is going in my sidecar rig because it's an Allstate and Allstate forks really suck because they only have a shock absorber and they do this. The engine cases are absolutely beautiful with this custom French script uh, logo on it. Uh, there's no other Vespas that have these, just the Acmas. They look really nice. And the serial number uh, has no letters, it's just a number, which is kind of cool. And here's the case is all cleaned up.